Architecture is the very mirror of life. One has to only cast an eye at the building to realize that it is in fact a reflection of the community using it. And this is the vision of our team Solastra. We aim to design an educational building that is experience based, provides us a shelter during disasters, and most importantly, roots the users back to the community. Our design approach involves three key factors: to analyze, to adapt, and to advocate. Some of the major issues that the region of Jayanagar deals with are natural disasters causing excessive damage to the buildings, high dependency on groundwater and the insufficient supply of clean water resulting in multiple health problems, a decline in the local builder community owing to the trend of RCC construction which do not fit in the context and succumb to natural disasters, and lack of awareness with respect to sustainable practices and technologies among the youth. Let's take a look at a typical day in Shagun and Piyush's college life. It's great having this electric bus, especially with all the traveling we do. Oh, look, they are setting up the OAT for the hill festival. I better hurry. Looks like Piyush is already in class. Hi Shagun. This summer has been brutal, huh? 35 degrees outside, but thankfully it's still cool in here. Ha huh, yaar, it's better than my house. And have you noticed It's just as comfortable in the winters too. Pretty cool, right? Chalo, let's eat. Bhook lag rahi hai yaar. Yes, let's eat near the shrine. Oh, and remind me to drop off some old books at the recycling shop before we head out. Hey, did you know this? The shrine not only stands for goodwill but also generates electricity by channeling the harvested rainwater. Oh, PE class is cancelled today. We have NCC training at the trail instead. They'll be training us to build quick shelters out of wood today. Oh wow! Thanks to the filtration plant, we've got plenty of drinking water for the hill festival too. Also, check for the solar power generated today. Oh, we have generated a total of two hundred and fifty-six kilowatt hours. Our project thus focuses on advocating the following for the benefit of the community. the katkuni method of construction instead of the usual rcc harvesting rainwater and recycling it to ensure a constant supply disaster mitigation training programs conducted to empower students and help them respond effectively and the usage of local materials and employment of local labor all create awareness amongst the young minds on campus this college is hence designed to not just provide formal education but also to provide education training and awareness informally as a part of the capacity development